Every time we get settled, the company goes and moves us. Here in Arizona. And now, I don't know what I do to deserve this. Feeling any better, huh? Yeah. That's what you get when you're the number one salesman. They always move you around. That's right. You okay, huh? Yeah. Sorry, Dad. Ah, uh, it's okay, buddy. Come on. Come on. Can we move on to the Indians attack? Is it always this hot here? Yes, so. It must be 100 degrees out here. Okay, Pilgrims. Let's get back in the wagon and go. Thirty more miles. Thank goodness. I was beginning to think we were lost. With me behind the wheel? Never. Uh -huh. I wonder what the schools are like here. Oh, probably like they are anyplace else. I guess so. Tell me more about the house. Well, I mean, I've told you everything I know. There's, uh, I guess, five bedrooms and surrounded by a bunch of orange trees. Oh, that's all they told you? Yeah. Hope it's not like all those other they've sent us in. I mean, something was always going wrong. Hell, do you remember the time Peter's waterbed collapsed and fell into the basement? What a mess. Well, there's no sense in getting up tight before we see it, okay? I mean, Jim assured me that it was a very, very nice house, and we'll just have to wait. Well, I sure hope so. Okay. Visiting or are you moving in? No, we got to move in. Uh, our company moved this here. Ah, good. Hey, uh, let me tell you something about that house. Everest, he's the caretaker up there, and they say he murdered his wife. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they say he dug a hole and he buried her alive. Of course, I'm not sure, and they haven't proved it. Okay. But, hey, I wouldn't go around that orchard anyway. All right. Thanks a lot. Anytime.
gotta be the right place. Positive. What do you think, guys? Huh? Okay by me. Here, let me try for a minute. No! Just let me You kids quit fighting over those hey, things. Hey, come on, yeah? guys. Come on. Listen to your mother. I have to. But they sure don't take care of the trees out here like they do next to the house. God, I know it looks dead out here. It's almost spooky. Mom, I gotta go to the bathroom. I know you do, huh? But we can't get in until somebody brings the key to the house. Somebody's supposed to meet us here. As soon as he comes, we'll, we'll go up to the house, okay? You said hurry up. What are you folks doing out here? Um, hey, hey, you must be the Frost. Yes. Hey, yes, my name's Everett. I take care of the place. Oh, good. We've been waiting for you. Well, I, I saw your rig up the uh, place up there, and I've just been kind of wandering around looking for you. Oh, good. I, I'm Bill. Bill, pleased to meet good. you. Good. And I'd like you to meet my family. And this is my uh, son, Peter. Hi. Pete. And my other son, Chris. Chris. Hi. And my wife, Dora. Ma'am. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you, folks. I bet you folks want to freshen up a little bit, don't you? Yeah, we've had a long day. Uh, the house is up this way. Come on, and uh, I'll take you up and I'll show you the okay. house. Okay, come on, let's go. Does all this land go with the house? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. As far as you can see through here, a whole bunch more. Like, well, it got a storm coming in out there. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gonna be raining now. Oh, this is nice, too. Boy, this comfortable? Yeah. Sure is. Boy, somebody's got a green thumb. Yeah, look at that. You wanna follow me? We'll go up and take a look at that master bedroom. Oh, great. Oh, Pete, why don't you start unloading the car? Yeah, sure thing. Oh, nice oh, this floor. Is nice. floor. That's real wood, too. the storm they just kind of blow in and blow out but, uh, okay. sure good for the zippers yeah I bet it is well it's certainly more than I expected I think it'll do Bill yeah it's fine it's fine mm -hmm. hope you folks like oranges because you sure got a mess of them out there yes sir 20 acres of the finest soil around well, I better get out of your way here. I know you folks want to get unpacked. And, okay. But if you need any help, holler. I'm just down the road a ways. Okay. Uh, by the way, they delivered your company car. Oh, good, good. Yeah, it's, it's sitting out in the garage, but I didn't bring the keys with me. You think one of the boys might come down to my place and get the keys? Sure, sure. Uh, grab Pete on the way out. He's probably not doing anything anyway. <laughs> okay, that's, that's great. All right. Thanks a lot. Oh, you yeah. betcha. You betcha. My pleasure. I almost forgot. Yeah. Uh, your phones won't be in for about a week. Okay. Uh, sorry. Thanks. So Bye. long. Yeah, it's nice meeting you. Bye. So long. I think we're going to be happy here. Yeah, I think so too, because we deserve that. But there is one problem. What's that? I hate oranges. It's too bad. <laughs> What'd you think of that little bit of moisture we had? Oh, I thought it didn't rain in Arizona. Well, it used to rain here pretty good, but any more about all that happens around here is good Lord spits on us here once in a while. Let's hold up for a minute. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, how come you limp? 
Well, I'll tell you, son. I used to be a rodeo cowboy. Rode them bulls. The big mean ones. The bigger, the better. Pretty good, too. Made national finals. Drew a bull named Sugar. <laughs> Sugar, that rank son of a gun throwed me, stomped me, hooked me of them horns. Well, the doctor did the best they could to patch me up, but it's, it's too late. The damage already been done. That's why I limp. Have you ever ridden since? No, I had enough after that. Yeah, we better be getting on up the house. Well, here we are. It's not much, but I sure love her. Oh. Make yourself comfortable. That key's around here someplace. You must like to read. You sure do have a lot of books. Yeah, history mainly. Oh, there it is. Take those to your dad. Okay. Is this your wife? Yeah, that's Martha. She doesn't live here anymore. She died about eight years ago. How'd she die? Sit down here, son. I'll tell you a story. About this area, and about how my wife died. First of all, she was murdered. Boy, I'll never forget that night. <laughs> oh, it was so quiet and peaceful. Martha had trouble falling asleep sometimes. Just seemed kind of relax her and help her a little bit to get out and be able to walk out there in the grove. Most of the time I'd go with her, but this this particular night my my leg was throbbing so bad. And so I sat out in the front yard. We was the only ones living out here at the time. Darn it got lonely out here. Anyway, I don't know how long I'd been sitting out there, I just I've been kind of dozing off a little bit. Um, all of a sudden, I heard a wailing scream coming from out there in the grove. Well, sir, I jumped up. And it was so dark out there. I must have. I must have hit. Must have run into every tree out there in that grove. Yeah. I ran as fast as I could as this one leg of mine had let me. Ran and I ran and I tripped and fell flat on my face. Now the screams continued. Yeah. I just kept looking. And all of a sudden, the screams stopped. I kept searching. Martha! Martha! Everything I heard about this place, it was true. It was true then, and it's true now. What? What's true? There's an underground river. It runs underneath this whole valley. And hundreds of years ago, when water was real plump, that water would come up through the cracks in the ground causing bogs, flooded this area, made a swamp out of it. And the Indians, they used this swamp for a burial ground. But not for the dead. It was alive, like a human sacrifice. They'd take them people and they'd stuff them down them bogs where they'd supposedly died. Inside, your house sits right in the middle of them burial grounds. 
But your wife, what happened to her? All I know is that to this day, if them grounds are disturbed in any way, them bogs will open up and them things will come crawling out and... What, what type of things? That's what I'm not sure about. Hey, it's getting late. Your folks are going to be getting worried. You better get on home. But how could I find out? Well, you might try the bookstore in town. Other than that, I don't know. Come on. Be careful. <laughs> Dinner, please. Mm. You want some? Yeah. Made it myself. Good. Oh, Peter, did you get the keys? Yeah. Uh, thanks for unloading the car like I asked you to. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, I put your stuff up on the bed. Thanks. Is something wrong? You okay? I know this might be dumb, but I don't think we should go into the orchard tonight. What are you talking Peter? about? Did it ever say anything to you? Yeah, a lot. It's not haunted, is it? Mother, I'm serious. He told me that his wife was murdered in the orchard. You should know better than to believe a silly old story like that. He's just pulling your leg. Didn't sound that way to me. Listen, old men love to tell stories like that to kids. I mean, my grandpa used to do it all the time. In fact, when he'd come to town, the whole neighborhood would come, sit on the front lawn when it got real dark, and he used to scare us half to death. I used to get pretty scared myself. What else did he tell you? <laughs> that it was an Indian burial ground, and it was a swamp. A swamp? In Arizona? Oh, Petey, you didn't believe that, did you? You guys can do what you want. I'm staying away from it. Well, that's just fine, but first you go out and find your brother Chris, and bring him home. Now? Where is he? Not in New York, I hope. Probably. He's looking for frogs. Uh, yeah. Now, don't you go scared him now. <laughs> Kids. You don't, uh, think that's true, do you? No! <laughs> oh, Chris! Chris! Chris, where are you? Nothing, just frog hunting. We well, shouldn't come out here at night anymore. Why? It's fun. Because the lady was murdered out here, that's why. Shut up, you're not scaring me. What was that? Go on, baby, get out of here. Right. Everest. Everest.
but not for the dead. Who's alive? you want potato chips for dinner again? No, that's quite okay. What are you gonna do? Well, I gotta meet with the district manager, and then I gotta put all my stuff in my new office, and then, <laughs> then I'm going to come home. You also need a haircut, you know that? Yeah, I know. It's pretty shaggy for the number one salesman, huh? You know, Bill, I was Thinking about that Everest guy? Yeah. Well, I think it'd be better if Chris and Peter kind of stayed away from him. What is that? Well, he just kind of gives me the creeps. Oh, he's just a lonely old man. Needs a little attention, that's all. Don't worry about him. You'll have to admit he is a little strange. Yeah, that he is. He's just a little bit strange. I mean, imagine him telling those kids that his wife was murdered in this orchard. I mean, isn't that a little sick? Yeah, a little sick, but people do that to kids all the time to scare them. I gotta go. Bye, baby. Well, looks like it's gonna rain today. I thought it didn't rain in Arizona. Bye. Have a nice day. A lot of things to do. Oh, honey? Yeah. Um, you can have the uh, company car, okay? I need the uh, family wagon to take all my stuff in. Okay? Bye.
get up. When did I get up? Oh, what do I go? Did you hear me calling? So glued to that TV. Just a snack, huh? I'm gonna start calling you the early bird. Is Peter awake yet? No, I don't think so. You're sure sleeping in lately. Do you want to go into town with me today? You want to do a little shopping? Nah. No. I'll be back in about an hour, okay? Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you something? Could you tell me where I might find a book about the history of this town? Well, we do have a few things, not much, but what we have is back in this corner. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Excuse me, I think I know what you're looking for. There are some books right here that might oh, help. Oh, yeah, good. Give that a try.
Indian superstition states that the ceremonial burials took place here as a sacrifice to the Indian gods. The burial grounds are believed to be sacred and protected by Indian spirits, or bhagis, as they are referred to. If the grounds are disturbed in any way, the earth will begin a trembling movement, causing the ground to rip apart, water to gush to the surface, and free the spirits or bhagis, who will then have the power to possess any body or take on any form. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yes. Yeah. Nonsense. All the way home. Mom, read this. Okay, come on. Just look, it's haunted. 
tired of it, okay? Well, I this. Look at this. It's taunted. Just look at this. It taunted. Well, we found this book at the library. He's convinced our place is on a burial ground. Oh. It is. It's taunted. Peter, why don't you go out and get the rest of the bags? Mom, look. Come on. Go get Kate, the rest of the groceries. Car, Just read it for yourself. Car, grocery, go. Oh, there. Send that on the way home. Oh. oh, how was your first day? Oh, hectic, semi exciting. Yeah, tell me about it. Mm -hmm. How come you're so late? Take a guess. Uh, don't tell me. No sense of direction. Dora got lost again, huh? Arizona is a lot worse than New York. I'm going to get you a compass. You know, I left this afternoon, and we have been to the bookstore and the grocery store, and that's it. Well, you have 300 miles on your company car. Okay. Where's Chris? I don't know. I thought he was with you. No, he stayed here. Well, uh, I came home about five, ten minutes ago, and nobody answered. Have you called him? Yeah. I called for everybody. Chris? 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 Hey, Yo. Are you mad when he runs off like that? Yeah, he's probably just goofing around someplace. Well, I don't want him outside after dark. You don't even know our neighbors or anything. Well, he's just, you know, walking around. Walking Everest! Around. Everest what? Well, he was here. Oh, come on. Chris is probably goofing around. Well, I don't want him in the orchard after dark. That's okay. We'll go out in the orchard, find him, and I'll go. Okay? I'm not going out in that orchard no more. I'm not going out in that orchard no more. Yes, Come you on. are. I'm going out. Go with you. I'll protect you, okay? Come on, Pete. Go out with your dad and get your okay. brother, will you? You know, I just realized that we haven't even got a phone if we need one. Oh. Mm. You're always jumping to conclusions. Don't worry. If worst comes to worst, I'll get the shirt. Don't worry. Pete, come on. Peter, come on. Go get Chris. Hey, come on. Now. Why don't you take a flashlight? Ew. down that hole eight years ago, hoping she'd be gone for good. And then you! You want to go? Go! Chris! 
I don't like this. Something's not right. Pete, go back to the house. Meet your mother. No. Yes, yes, and uh, meet me at Ever's house. Come on, go. Chris? 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 Come on. Chris? I'm starting to get mad now. Come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 